Hi, I'm Lisa Michelle, and I like creating content to help new and aspiring entrepreneurs start and grow their first online business. So if you like these types of videos, please subscribe to my channel. This way you'll know every time I upload a new video. So now in this video, I wanted to show you a tool called Sales Samurai that is related to Etsy, and it not only shows you what items you can list on Etsy with a lower competition and higher search volume, it also helps you in terms of deciding what keywords, what title and tags to actually use in your Etsy listing. So that makes it extremely helpful. So make sure you watch the video all the way to the end because I'm actually going to upload a real listing on Etsy using the title and keywords suggested by Sales Samurai. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I did is I knew I wanted to upload an SVG file. So I went to Etsy and you know if you go to Etsy's search bar here, and just click on it, it'll let you know what's popular, right, on the site right now. And when you see these little blue numbers here, that's because I have the Sales Samurai Chrome extension installed also. And this is letting me know that this Army Bomb decal, there's a 100 search volume, this is a month, and there are 484 uh, listing or ideas of listings using army bomb decal maybe somewhere in their listing maybe it's a tag maybe it's in the title something like that so i'm going to click on this just to get an idea of um, the types of listings sales samurai will suggest and this is what comes up so there are 484 rows with different um keywords that are related to you know the first term that we put in the army bomb decal and over here it gives you the monthly um, search volume and the competition so of course you would ideally like to find something that has a higher search volume than the competition, because that means that more people are searching for it than there are listings with that keyword, which is, which is what you really want. So you can scroll down here just to get ideas, um, keeping in mind the competition. So this is why when people say use long-term or long-tail keywords, um, because if you just put in bombs, you can see what the competition is here right so it'll be very hard to be found on the first page of search if you just have very generic keywords like bomb so we'll keep looking and i saw um what did i see i just saw okay so here jaeger bomb this one has 298 um, searches 395 listings let's go ahead and just click on it just to get an idea of what's being sold with the Jaeger bomb keyword. And you can see that here. So you know, depending on what it is you sell on Etsy, if you could create something centered around Jaegermeister with the keyword Jaeger bomb, you may have a good chance of being found. So that's one way that you can use Sell Samurai's uh, Chrome extension. All right, so another way is because I knew I wanted to do the SVG, is to go to the actual website. And this is a Sales Samurai website, and I'm under search. So if I go to basic search here, you're able to put keywords in here. And I'm going to go ahead and put in FBOM SVG, because FBOM was something that I saw under that uh, Army decal um, search uh, keyword that was in the list. So because I'm doing an SVG, I'm going to put that into the search and just see what comes up. Okay, so you'll see that it pulled up these listings, all related to FBOM FVG. All right, there are almost 3,200 monthly searches and the competition, there are not about 951 other listings that have this term in the in the listing now from the listings that is pulling up is giving me these suggestions um f license plate sunday f printable f f it f zero f bomb condom mom, png and these are the tags that are found in the listings that it pulled up with this long tail keyword all right so it's f bomb svg mom svg and so on and then down here, it actually shows you the listings that are doing the best with that related keyword. 
Okay, so you can see the title that they used. You can see the price they're charging for that SVG file, how many photos are in the listing, how many views they receive each month, how many likes they have. And if you click on this, that actually gives you even more detail that you can scroll down to see the quantity available, um, monthly views, when that listing was created, um, just a lot of detail about that person's particular listing. And these are the actual tags that they're using in that listing. And so if you're you know, not sure of what to use in terms of tags, that's a good way to get some information because if this person is making sales and they've got this many likes, that means people are finding that item using those keywords and using this title. So that's a good way to use this tool. And this is how I'm going to use it for the listing that I created for my kind of fake Etsy shop. So let's go ahead and click on this again. All right. And I'm going to create a listing using these keywords and the tags just to see how that listing actually performs. And I'm not really selling it. I'm just using it for demonstration purposes. But I just want to list it under these terms, under these tags, and just see how, how it does using Sales Samurai. So I'll go ahead and um, go ahead and start the listing. I've already created the file. And for the first photo, I did create a mock-up in Canva. And it's for this, it's an F-bomb SVG file that can be used for you know, t-shirts or mugs or whatever. So, so we'll go ahead and upload that mock-up. And I did this mock-up in Canva and I'll show it to you again. Okay, so I did this mock-up. I made it in Canva, but I actually created the mock-up using placeit.net. And as you can see, I just uploaded the image, put it on this mock-up t-shirt here. And then for the mug, for the mug, because there was a background originally around that, I went to a website called remove.bg, I uploaded the original mock-up and then removed the background. And then I was able to go ahead and put that in my, in my mock-up on Canva, see, right here. So if you ever use placeit.net, you'll know that it's a great tool for mockups. If you do not have a placeit.net subscription and you'd like to try it, I will leave a link in the description. Okay. So I've got my thumbnail that I'm going to adjust just a little and maybe zoom in. Okay. All right. So now we've got that uploaded and the first thing I want to do is, okay, I'll just fill these things out. Um, so digital file. And I don't really sell um, digital files, so this is definitely an experiment for me. So I won't do the whole, um, I won't do the whole description, but you would definitely want to make sure that you put in um, any pertinent information that you would want your buyer to have, particularly if you're selling a digital file, you want to make sure they understand that they will not receive a physical item. And I'm not even sure really how closely people will even read the description, but I still put all that pertinent information in there. For the price, I'm just putting a dollar because I have to put at least a dollar. And for the quantity, that's one, that's fine, no personalization. And I've uploaded the SVG file already. All right, so let's just get to the tags. Now, the tags that they've used here, okay, the tags that they've used, and ideally you would put this on, maybe on a notepad, so that you have everything, you know, kind of close by. All right. So for the tags, we're going to use mom, S, oops, mom, S, V, G, funny, F, 
bomb. Oh, I don't have to sprinkle that in mine. So F, because you want to make sure that you only use, um, I might, well, I don't know if I want to use curses in there. And those actually didn't bring in a lot of, they didn't bring in a large search volume anyway. So I just want to use the tags that have actually really worked for this person. And they have sprinkle in the name of their um, T-shirt, in the name of their SVG file. So I don't want to use that one because I don't have that. So I use F-bomb SVG, F-bomb mom, F-bomb, and then, you know, just based on the actual thing that we're selling, we'll put in, because the holidays are coming up, we're putting in um, Christmas gift. And I'm going to put in, um, let's see, I'm going to actually go to Etsy. All right, let's put in some other related terms. F -bomb, um, uh, mug. Let's see, F bomb mom mug. F bomb mom. What did it say? Oh, okay. F bomb mom. F. Shirt say again. I have two titles. Okay. F bomb. F bomb kind of mom SVG. F bomb kind of mom SVG. Okay, so that's not bad. Six hundred and forty four results is not bad. So I'm going to use that as a tag. And I actually would normally look to make sure that people were actually searching for that. But we're going to include that anyway. See, if you look down here, you can tell people that are using, or people that pop up at least, the shops that pop up under this search term. You want to make sure that they're actually selling. And it looks like they are. Let's see. Um, another thing on the SVG is I have two titles. So I will use that. I have two titles. SVG. So add that. And we'll do have two titles. PNG. Because I would upload that one as well. Funny mom, I have two titles. And this one is actually, let's see, I have two titles. Mom, I don't want to click on anything that says it's an ad. So this one has two titles. Um, cut files, rock them both. Let's rock them both. I'm going to come up. I can close this. Rock them both. going to come up as a keyword. Let's see. No. Because if it doesn't come up in search, if it's not auto-populating, that means that no one is really searching for that. So, um, I don't want to use that. Sassy Mom SVG. Okay, I don't want the video to be too long. But just to go back to the to sale samurai, um, let's just do one more thing, just to get the remaining how many more tags? We have three more tags. All right, so let's just go back. We'll go out of this listing. Let's just go to another listing and see what tags the next person is using. So this person has f bomb for cutting machines. Um, okay, this one also has an F-bomb cut file. So let's click on this one and get the details and see what tags they're using. Funny Mom SVG, Adult SVG, 
um SVG files. Okay, so let's try maybe let's use the other three from this listing since they seem to be doing well with those also. You can see the search volume for these terms. Not necessarily for their shop, but for these terms. Mom quote. No. SVG. I have this one. F um I have that one. SVG files. Uh, I mean it's kind of generic. Mom life SVG. And then for the last one, we'll put mom quote. We'll do that one. Okay, so that's our that's our tags. Now for the title, what I would do is use the same tag, see the same keywords that I put in the tags for the title. All right, that's why I say it's helpful if you have a note pad open also so you can kind of remember what you put in the what you put in the tags so I'll just keep this one open just so it kind of reminds me all right so um the first thing I would do is geez two two titles Lock them both. Um, okay, so of course I'm going to put F bomb up front. So that's the main keyword that I think people will be looking for. And then I'll put, um, F bomb mom SVG and then I'll put mom so you have two titles lock them both funny so I'll put um adult SVG and if you, okay, two titles, funny mom, oops, I'm going to do it with my title, not sarcastic, and I use all of the spaces <laughs> when I can. Okay, that's fine. Etsy. Uh, okay. Um, and then for the all right. So you don't want to keyword stuff, but. You do want to make sure that you hit all the major keywords in your listing. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and list this. Publish it. Okay, okay, okay. I always get that banner the first time regardless of what I'm doing. All right, so that's uploaded. I'll check back on this listing in a couple of days and I'll let you know how it's doing once Etsy has a chance to index the title and the tags and the keyword. I'll probably go back in and do something with the description as well and the attributes, which I didn't do, um, just to clean it up. All right, now if you wanna try out Sales Samurai, it's $9.99 a month and it's $99 if you wanna pay for the whole year. But I do have a link in the description and a discount code that will give you 20% off of either subscription of Sales Samurai. I'll also leave a description in the, I'll leave a link in the description for placeit.net 
and those are both affiliate links so if you make a purchase the channel will receive a small commission at no extra cost to you but I would definitely appreciate the support and if you have any questions or any comments about either platform please leave it in the comments and if you want to see a full tutorial on Sell Samurai because there are other features here that are extremely helpful um, if you're listing on Etsy so if you want to see a full review please let me know in the comments and that's going to do it for me and until next time peace